so hello everyone this is the new lead code problem which name is uh, 1t2 pattern t2456 problem in this problem what we have given is uh, we have given a uh, nums array and we have, we have to find the 1 3 2 pattern in this nums array so 1 3 2 pattern is called as a uh, if i is less than j is less than k and uh, this condition holds true nums of i is less than nums of k is less than nums of j it's like a p element it's uh, this pattern so we can see in this problem 1 2 3 4 it's a monotonically increasing so it can't be make up 1 3 2 pattern so that's why it will be false let's look the example 2 here is a 3 1 4 2 so 3 4 2 can make a 1 3 2 pattern also 1 4 2 can make a 1 3 2 pattern so it will be uh, true and uh, in this example we can see minus 1 3 2 0 minus 1 3 2 is making the 1 3 2 pattern so it will be true and other another uh, example means uh, another examples like one minus 1 3 0 then minus 1 2 0 it also are making a 1 3 2 pattern so it will be true so let's uh, think about the intuition the first brute force solution that comes in our mind is uh, we can use three loops uh, for uh, int i equals to 0 to n then j equals to i plus 1 to n and k equals to j plus 1 to n and we can write this condition so that will be that can be our brute force solution but it will take a big o of n cube time complexity which is not a better so let's reduce that time complexity however the space complexity will be big of one because we are not taking any space but uh, big of n cube is a very much high time complexity so we have to reduce that time complexity so let's uh, reduce that time complexity we can use a, a, a big of n square solution also the we can take a pointer uh, means a variable left main that is pointing to in initially nums of 0 then we can use two loops uh, j equals to 1 to n and uh, k equals to j plus 1 to n then uh, we can uh, write this condition and uh, finally we will uh, update the min i function min i variable that can be our solution so let's uh, do that code then afterwards uh, we will find the solution big o of n so firstly if the left main equals to nums of 0 initially then uh, we will uh, apply a loop for int i int j equals to 1 to j less than n then j plus plus and for int k equals to j plus 1 to k less than n then k plus plus and we will write this condition here nums of i is nums uh, min uh, min left min so if if the nums of uh, k is greater than left min and then nums of uh, j is greater than this uh, left jump of j is greater than nums of k means it uh, it is a uh, bigger nums of j is bigger so we'll return to and uh, after this we'll update uh, left so how we will update this uh, now left min equals to minimum of uh, left min comma nums of j and uh, finally can see for first now we can return 
false if this condition is not true then we can return false so let's run this code so we have to in and and this goes to nums dot size now we have to run this code this should be j this should be k actually k equals to j plus 1 to k less than n and k plus 1 Now it is working perfect. Let's say submit this. It will give you time comp uh, TLE definitely because it is a big of n squared solution. So let's see how many test cases will pass. One zero one test cases are passing by using this solution. Two test cases uh, are also remaining. Here. So let's uh, think about that. So let's uh, comment this solution. Our 101 test case uh, are passing by using this solution, but two test cases are remaining. So let's uh, think about that solution also. In that solution, we can make a big, it's a big of n square solution. So we can do this uh, by using uh, in, in big of n time complexity. So how we will do this uh, that solution? So we can make a min array and uh, we will use a uh, stack and we will put uh, some element in that uh, we will uh, traverse from the right uh, left uh, right to left means end for traverse karenge usme uh, end event post karenge aur fir usko check karenge so let's uh, see that solution will firstly in uh, let's uh, comment out this because uh, and it's a solution now optimal solution in big O of n in that solution firstly we will Initialize int n equals to nums dot size, and we will initialize a min int min. It shall let's uh, write this mini array of size n. We will use a loop int i equals to zero to i less than n, then i plus plus. Initially. Min mini of zero equals to nums of zero because it, it will be take an initial n here. Mini of zero equals to nums of zero. It's done. So now we will update next element. So mini of i equals to minimum of mini of a previous element means it will take a previous element. So mini of n minus one to work uh, here. Yeah. Min pre it will take a previous solution mini of i minus one comma nums of i. It's done. Let's write. Creating a mini array. It will take a minimum element of uh, that particular array. So now uh, we will take a data structure. We will use a data structure, a stack data structure, because uh, we will push an element and we will check if that element is uh, less than the if that element fulfills this condition that it will be true. Otherwise, we will pop that element and 
will check that again stack int st and for int now we will use a loop so it will be will traverse from the end point so it will be int j equals to n minus 1 to j greater than equals to 0 and j minus minus it's done and we will check if nums of j is greater than mini of i mini of j if this condition is true nums of j is greater than mini of j means this one is uh, true so what we will do we will use a loop while not of st dot empty power off हो गया था इसका headphone का that's why video cut हो गई so end end st dot top is less than equals to mini of j if this condition is true then we will pop that element from the stack st dot pop this is done then now what we will do is a uh, will check uh, this is done if uh, now we will again check if not of st dot empty agar abhi mera stack khali nahi hua and and st dot top is less than nums of j look at this we are using this condition okay we are uh, firstly checking st dot top is less than equals to minimum of j then we are popping that element and, uh, and now we are checking st dot top is less than m sub j it should be condition it should be fine because it it's a given condition for us if uh, if this condition holds true then we will write return true then uh, we will push st dot uh, push uh, stack and push cutting um, nums of j oh, finally we will write return false in else case return false let's run this code it is giving runtime error uh, minimum of a mini of a uh, mini of n and the i equals to 0 to n i less than n this should be i is equals to 1 to n because uh, mini of 0 equals to nums of 0 so we have to write the loop from 1 It is working perfect. Let's submit this code. Yeah, it is working perfect. And finally, we we gain this batch September batch, and we have completed the 30 day series. September whole September series actually. So thanks for this, and also thanks for the hundred subscriber that you have. Uh, just because of you so next target will be 500 so cut dj so if you know the another approach for this solution there can be uh, many approaches why uh, i am using a stack uh, you can use another approaches and please comment out that approach also so if you find this helpful then uh, please like share and subscribe for <laughs> bye